Hey guys, welcome back to the sixth episode of my hardcore world. And yeah, so why I'm on the uh, pause screen and not the normal um, screen is because right before recording this, I was making some renovations and I almost died. So I heard there's this glitch in Java where if you fall and exit the game right before you hit the ground, you should be able to, um, yeah, you should be able to um, survive. So if I load this world back up again, um, hit the ground, and then once I hit the ground, um, I uh, find all the mobs that are right there, or just run off and eat my golden apple, um, I should hopefully be okay. So that's my plan. So I'm just going to go single player and play it, and I'm ready to hit the escape button. Okay, um, just be sure, I'm going to save one more time. Alright, and then I'm just going to run as fast as I can. Alright, oh wait, did I make it? Yeah, I, ju I think I just made it. Okay, there's like a lot of mobs back there. I think I just say, I think I just used, I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but I just, I think I just saved myself from death. Oh man, that was close. Okay, so basically a little backstory. Um, I did quite a bit of working like out of episode. And I basically just wanted to, um, yeah, I just wanted to do some out of episode. Um, just like working or whatever. And yeah, I did. And I was like working on the house. And I was like replacing the oak logs with birch log or oak wood with birch wood. Just because I think it looks better. And I went, I, like, I jumped, like, auto jump is on, and I, like, jumped over the log, and I went over the edge. And I just, right before I hit the ground, I just paused the game and started recording. So, yeah, kind of stressful, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> kind of a bit stressed out, but I'm glad I'm still alive because I do not have a totem of, a, uh, totem of undying, and I do not have any, um... Feather falling um, on my boots. So yeah, I am... Uh, if I didn't pause the game and do that thing there, I probably would have died. But it's not cheating because it is part of the game. So yeah, or I think. I don't know. But yeah, it's not really cheating. So I'm just going to... Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Um, so basically in this episode, I'm just going to be doing this on camera now. Because if I die again... Um, I want you guys to experience this with me and yeah so I'm going to try my best if I die um, I'm going to try my best to uh, have you guys in on the experience just because that makes it more like I guess involvement or whatever and yeah I guess that just kind of makes it better um, so yeah I'm going to chop down some birch trees so I can get some birch wood for my house that I'm working on <clears throat> And yeah, so I just kind of kind of had a mini heart attack there, and I didn't get hit at all, let alone die. So I'm happy about that. And I'm I'm gonna torch that place up at one point. I'm gonna, it, not right now, cause I don't feel like I'm prepared enough. But I think once I get like diamond armor and maybe um, just like better stuff like that, I think I will try and get the uh, mobs down there killed and get some torches up there. And, ooh, what's that thing in the distance? I'm kind of tempted to turn my render distance up a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, it's like just a little sand dune. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll just keep it up just because... Why not? Here, I'm just going to kill these sheep. Just so I can get some more wool and stuff. And also, I'm on the lookout for leather because I... Or, yeah, leather and sugar cane because I... I don't know if you guys saw the enchantment table there. I think I made it out of episode. But yeah, I got an enchantment table. And um, yeah, so I'm going to, in this episode, I'm going to basically get some birch planks to work on the, uh, what should I call it? So yeah, on the books for the enchantment table. So if I kill the sheep real quick because they give you food. Um, also, I did kind of, oh, whoops. I also did kind of work on something out of episode as well. Uh, I'll show you what it is when I got back when I get back to the house. And the thing that I worked on is really going to help me. Um, and okay, this frame rate is just too low. I need to turn down my render distance. Um, 
I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah, I'm basically locked in at 60 right now. And I did do some chopping down, I did chop down some trees um, earlier uh, just because I um, was kind of low on wood uh, back then as well. But yeah, right now I'm mainly going to focus on birch, birch trees just because, um, yeah, here, hold on, I'm going to turn my sound up a little bit, or I mean the game audio uh, for you guys to hear it. Uh, there, that, that's good enough. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to... Um, oh, whoops. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to cut down a bunch of birch trees, and I'm going to be really careful next time, or at least I might do that next time out, and yeah, I don't know if that's considered cheating, but whatever. I think I'll be fine, because it's like, it's not like a bug per se, I guess it's just taking advantage of the game's mechanics, because like when you load into the game, it like regenerates the chunks, and um, like once the chunks are regenerated, like it takes away all the fall damage that you would have taken. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, and just in case things do go south, I do have a enchanted golden apple here, uh, just in case. So yeah, that'll be good. All right, I need more logs than that. All right, I do still have a boat here, which actually, I actually wouldn't mind exploring a little bit. Yeah, why not? Let's turn the render distance up and let's explore the ocean because I haven't been this way before and I kind of, ooh, yeah, I'll mine some trees over there. Ooh, I actually kind of like the look of the, all the sea coral and stuff here. Looks pretty nice. Too bad it like dries out after being in your inventory for two minutes. Okay, and there's a bee in the middle of the ocean for some reason. I don't really know how it got there or why it's there. And even with no trees nearby, like, I mean, those are like the closest trees. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you can still see my house all the way over there. And, man, this is actually kind of cool. Yeah, don't mind the frame rate just because I do want to kind of see everything. Even if I am getting 24 frame, frames per second. Um, yeah, I think it'll be fine for now. Okay, whoa, that's, all right. So I'm gonna try and get a lot of sugar cane here because I really do want, um, I re oh wait, actually, I'm gonna try and get some kelp as well because that's gonna help me um, get like a good uh, farm. So basically if I get a lot of kelp, I can set up like a XP farm and try and, um, so, like, I can set up, like, a hopper and furnace, and when furnace melts a lot of, um, stuff, it can get a lot of, um, XP. So, yeah, that might be good, so I can get, like, enchanting, or once I get mending stuff, that might be good as well. So, I'm gonna eat real quick. Okay, wow, this is actually really cool. I might screenshot that. Wow, that's actually really cool. And, man, like... I like how it's like really lit up as well. Like on Bedrock Edition, it just feels like it's really kind of like dark and hard to see. But on here, like it is really like luminate. Wow, like you can just see really far. Okay, um. Um. Alright, so yeah, I'm actually not going to um, be as like. Um, what, what do you call it? Like, I'm not going to be as reckless as I was. Oh, whoops. Yeah, um, oh, right, that's pretty good. Man, this is like just a little island over here. I mean, maybe it wouldn't hurt to explore like over here maybe and just mine those trees. Oh, wait, my boat's still back there. And it also kind of feels like an amplified world a little bit, even though it's I set it on normal. A little turtle. All right, I'm just gonna break that and then get the uh, boat down here. Okay, so All right, the reason I have it on max is because I want to, like, see if there's anything in the way distance. 
that I might not be able to see if it was on the lower render distance. Oh, what? What well, spruce biome? I don't really see myself wanting that too bad. Oh, wow. Oh, swamp. Wow, but, whoa. I right, 21 frames per second. Oh, yeah, it's a big swamp over there. Oh, wow, that's... Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to get out here. And chop... I'm going to chop down only the birch trees down here, because, like I said, I do think the birch wood is just better looking. I once thought the oak wood was, just because it's more like, you know, OG. But, I don't know, it's like the look of the birch wood, just because it's like... I don't know. I, I just like it. Um, yeah, just the lightness of the planks. and I don't know. I just think it looks good. So, well, it's about night. Pull my bed out. And look at the sunset in that ocean. Wow. Wait, what's that thing in the distance over there? Is that a swamp village? Whoa, alright. I think I have to explore that over there, because... I'm pretty sure that's a swamp village. Oh wait, no, it's a broken nether portal. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's broken nether portal. Whoa, all right, I'm actually kind of concerned my game's gonna crash here. All right, it is good to see all the different things, but it is not worth risking my game crashing. Yeah, so there we go, back on a solid 60. Yeah, so that's kind of why I didn't want to be risky about that. I might as well just go over there and see what's over there. I mean, yeah, I'm not actually going to go into the nether or anything. But yeah, um, here, I might, wait, no, it's exploring. I think exploring is pretty fun. I was going to say I might cut out part of this because I don't want this episode to be too long. All right, where did I put my boat? Uh, like I said, I don't want this episode to be too long because I know it can get kind of um, repetitive or whatever. Oh wait, I should have made a compass. Yeah, when I get back home, I think it's this way. That's where the whole house is. Okay, um... Alright, um... Where is... Where's my boat? Am I seriously going to be looking for this for like... Oh boy. Alright, well, fall damage still works. Just to know that now. Alright, I'm just going to shot the tree and go home. Because honestly, I can't be bothered. Because uh, I know it might be a while before I can see the boat. Am I just being blind? Oh, there it is. Alright. Um, I mean, you know what? what what's the harm? What, let's just go over there and see... Alright, you know what, let's just make episode 6 an exploring episode and also maybe get that um, boat thing over there, the shipwreck. Uh, so yeah, this will just be an exploring episode. The next episode, episode 7, um, yeah, I think I might um, do the house renovations because I think that will be really cool. Um, Alright, so I believe it was over, yeah, right over here. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah, it, kind of, it honestly looked like a church. That looked like a church from, like, how far I was viewing it from. But, ooh, there's a lot of sugar cane here. All right, that would be good for the thing I'm trying to work on. All right, I don't really need these. All right, shift, and then break the boat, because I'm pretty sure I won't remember where the boat is. Alright, so in the direction that the sun is rising, that's where I need to go. Alright, sorry pig, but I need my food. Um, Alright, there it is. Ooh, alright. Oh, there's gold block. I think I forgot to get the gold block the last time there's another portal there. I don't even know if it was there, but... Fortune Ho. Okay, I do not need that. But I'll still take it because it's loot. It's free loot, and, oh, alright, I'm just gonna turn my render distance up one more time, just because I'm actually really curious what's over here. Imagine if there's just like a uh, woodland mansion right over there. That would actually be really cool. Um, 
All right, so still a lot of birch trees. Uh, I'm going to pile up here to get... All right, why am I not... Oh, they're half slabs. Okay. Oh, what are all of these half slabs? Oh, finally. All right. I am a bit tempted to cut down the other birch trees here. Okay, this actually looks pretty cool. And like the, yeah, I'm gonna just screenshot. Or, yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna go. Alright, yeah, I do have an iron pickaxe. I was kind of worried I didn't have the thing I needed to mine it, but yeah, there we go. And I do not need this stone thing. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I'm just gonna go home now because I don't really want to risk dying or anything like that. Because I think, I don't know if I have enough birch wood, but I think, like I did replace about half of it so far. Um, so I think maybe if I chop down a few more trees. Oh, these are all oak. Alright, well, little life pro tip. If you only want oak trees, go to a swamp biome. Alright, I'm going to turn it down again because this is really... There we go. I'm just going to gather all the sugar cane here. Because, like I said, I really need this for a um, for enchantments. And also, I was thinking of getting, like, an XP farm. Uh, not like, the next episode, because that's a lot to do in one episode. I was thinking of making, like, a mob farm, but, like, they drop down and they have half a heart. And once they drop down, I can get a sword with, like, Sweeping Edge 3 or something. And that could kill all of them. And if you don't know what Sweeping Edge thing is, it's, um, I think it's only for Java. And the Sweeping Edge 3 is, like, when you hit something with your sword, um, all the animals within a certain proximity also get hit by it. Um, so that'll be cool. Also, I might chop down a few more trees here, just because it really, you can't, you really can't have too much wood, honestly, because wood's, like, essential for everything. Like, you, yeah, you can't really go without wood, so. Um. Alright, so I think, yeah, I do have a, I, there are a bunch of birch trees near my house, so I think I'll be fine. And, alright, I'll just steal these plants here real quick, because you never know when you'll need blue dye. Alright, and then, I'm just going to steal this. Alright, there we go. And I still have my bed. Okay, so I'm just, I think, yeah, if I was going this direction, I think it should be fine. And yeah, so once I get home, I'll probably end the episode. Um, oh wait, the shipwreck. Oh, I don't know if I want to though, because like, you can't, um... Like, stuff can get waterlogged now, so you can't really breed that easily anymore um, with the Ocean Aquatic update. And also, I don't have a respiration. Um, I don't have respiration or aqua affinity, so I might... That might not be a good idea. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going in the right general direction. Oh yeah, and I, I was just wondering, how am I going to get back up? But this is where the thing... I made out of episode I'm going to show you what that is so yeah so if I just make my way over here yeah wow that's a lot of kelp okay so oh wait bamboo farm might be cool too but like jungles are so rare you need to go like tens of thousands of blocks just to go there and here while I'm doing that I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn down the game audio a little bit because I know it can be a bit too loud. They're 39. I, I think that'll be good. Um, okay, so I believe... Yeah, okay, so if I go this way, I believe I'll be fine. Uh, um, I know I've done this a lot this episode. I'm just going to do it one more time. Because I really need, this is kind of important to see where I live. And yeah, there it is, okay. Alright, so I'm going to actually go over here. 
because the thing I made is on that side of the base. And okay. Um, all right. Uh, oh, whoops, that's not the only way to go. I don't know about you, but I honestly think the savanna biome is like the most boring one. That That's just my opinion, though. Like, can you not eat? Oh, you need to do that. Okay. Alright, so if I get out here and hit shift. There we go. And then I think, yeah, it's over here. Oh, wait, it is. Oh, wait, no, it's actually over here. Yeah, because I, oh, that's why I dug so far. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm just going to make my way over here. And there should be a little secret entrance. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it, but it should have like a little um, stockpile of um, granite right next to it. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. Oh, I almost fell. Okay. So. All right. So basically up here, you'll see in a second. But yeah, I'm going to turn my render distance down a little bit. I know I do this a lot, but it's kind of hard. Um. I kind of need to switch a lot between seeing far and also having a good frame rate. That's why I do that. And all right, here it is. So basically, this entrance is where I am, uh, where my mine is. So my house is like at one, it's like Y185, which is really high. And I couldn't really get to bedrock very easily because, you know, it's kind of hard to staircase down a huge mountain. So like without getting exposed to outside. So basically what I did was I made this huge like dropper thingy and this thing, okay, it goes all the way down from the floor of my house to bedrock um, where I'm gonna mine diamonds and iron and all that stuff. So, it and there's water down there, which actually I'm just gonna check real quick because I do not How did I die? How, how, like actually, how did I? Oh, I knew I should have made that more secure. Oh, I did so well in it too. Oh, why did I do that? Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to spectate the world real quick and <sighs> Wait, can I do? Oh no. <sighs> so, okay, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my last moments in the survival world. Um, so basically a lesson to that, um, never do, never do, um, Hardcore, unless you uh, don't want to, uh, um, like, live in that world anymore. Um, yeah. Here, wait, can I? So here's my statistics. Or actually, no, I'm going to show them at the end of the video. Oh, uh, man, that's actually kind of fun, too. All right, well, my house even load in. Finally. All right, well, here's what my house was. Um... And I, and I even have like a little thing here. I'm actually really good. Oh wait, yeah, it's spectator. All right, can I see what's in the chest at least? Okay, so, oh, I even got this far too. Okay, so I'm going to, here's the little thing you drop down and here's a little staircase. 
Also, here's the chest where I had so much stuff from episode 5 in. Uh, Alright, um... Okay, and here's the second chest, here's third chest, and then here's the chest down here. Um, had seven diamonds, and yeah. And then down there, I would go here, I'm just gonna... Like, if I went all the way down here... Um, yeah, so... Obviously, as you can tell, I'm not very happy about this, but... I will, um start a new survival world because I do like the Java edition, but uh, I'm still kind of upset with myself about that. Um, so it obviously won't be hardcore because I, yeah. So here was the chest here, and here here is the second chest. I did a little mine, found diamonds like right here, and uh. All right, so I'm just gonna end, oh wow, the little cave system and all that stuff, all right. So I'm going to look at my statistics, because I'm kind of into that. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this series. It was kind of a short one. Maybe I'll do another one, like in a year or something. Um, I did really enjoy this, though. Um, I'm just kind of sad it's over. Um, and if you're curious what this guy's trades are, they're not good. But, oh, I can't even trade with him. Alright, well, anyways... Um, yeah, I hope you guys, or actually, I'm just gonna, uh, look at the stats. So, I opened 178 chest, I dealt 893 damage, um, damage taken 105, man. Um, and if you don't want to see the uh, statistics, you can just click off by now because I'm not gonna do anything else in this video. Um, oh, so here's all the stuff, 528, oh, uh, times used, uh, okay, oh, I had 2,000 stone, 1,000, oh, used with the diamond pickaxe, yeah. Oh, man, that really kind of hits. That kind of hurts that I died and everything. But whatever. Um, I crouched. I fall in 450 meters. And uh, good thing I didn't do that out of episode. Uh, I only had 10 sessions. Okay, 10 sessions in this game. Well, I'll just start a new survival world and I'll start all over. And it will be on survival. And I'll make it further because when I die, I won't have to quit. And time played about five hours. And that's five hours I can't get back. Oh well. Um, oh, I didn't know I killed a zombie piglin. Uh, two chicken, 34 cows. Alright, so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I think that's all of the stats. So here's... Yeah, all the different stats. Uh, like I said, I definitely will start a new one in general. Um, 68 interactions with crafting table. Alright, nice. So, yeah, that's the last time I'll see that world. And if I go back in single player... Oh, it's still in spectator. Okay. Well, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the last episode of the series, and yeah, um, I will definitely start a new survival world on the Java edition, but yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you.